What's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jealous and today I'm going to be building a hyper offense team around Calm Mind Zero Aura for Sword and Shield OU. Then I will be testing out the team on the Pokemon Showdown ladder. It's probably going to be a pretty tryhard team today because I did get top 100 in yesterday's video and if I want to continue winning games up this high on the ladder I definitely need something pretty competitive so... There is a Pokemon I really want to try on Hyper Offense, and that is Bulk Up Conkeldur. I got destroyed by the combination of Bulk Up Conkeldur plus Dual Screens Grimmsnarl a couple of videos ago, and I definitely think it has a lot of viability on HO just because its natural bulk already makes it really good. Behind screens, it's basically unkillable in one hit, and then you can bulk up and throw off really strong drain punches and heal up. So let's go ahead and do this, and I'm actually going to run Earthquake because... While Zera doesn't struggle with Toxapex, a lot of other Hyper Offense staples like Bisharp, for example, really hate that Pokemon, so I want to make sure that I have multiple ways to threaten Toxapex with the team, just because if they get up T-Spikes and start hazing and I can't break it, it's just an auto L, right? We'll go Mock Punch and Drain Punch, and then I'll run the same EV spread that I usually do, just 174 speed. I don't think this really matters too much. And then 64 HP with Adamant Nature, and then... The next thing I have to decide is whether I want Veil or Screens, so... I've been having a lot of fun whenever I use Hyper Offense with Encore, Alolan, Ninetales. I definitely think that's better than Dual Screens, Taunt, Grim Snarl. Because you can always just pair the Alolan, Ninetales with another Taunt user, like... I guess me was the only one, right? Exelgor and... What's the other one? Drill? Both don't get Taunt, but Drill can spin at least, so... I think we'll probably go Alolan, Ninetales plus Mew today, since it is the most competitive option. But then, if I'm adding both of those as leads, well, I only have two team slots left for other win conditions, and Bisharp has to be one of them. I think Bisharp is like a staple on every Hyper Offense team, whether it's Sticky Webs or Screens, because it just is so good against Defog if you position yourself badly, right? But, yeah, we're gonna go Alola Ninetales, and then I'll look for other leads that get taunt, but I'm pretty sure Mew is the only one from what I remember. Let's go ahead and run Timid Nature. And I guess I might as well add Bisharp to the team while we're here. Like, it's going to be on the team because it's really vital. Let's run Light Clay with Light... Why am I putting actual screens on this? Aurora Veil. And then Encore, Freeze, Dry. Hypnosis is good too, but I would rather just go for a more reliable Encore. I know if I go for Hypnosis, it's just going to miss anyway, so what's the point? And then... What obvious move am I missing that this thing runs? Auroraville, Encore, Freezer, and Hail. There we go. I don't know why I blinked on that so hard. I don't use Hyper Offense a ton, so I'm not very familiar with these mons, but at least we were able to remember that. What do I want to do from here, though? The Mew is the lead I'm looking at. Does anything else get Taunt? Plus Hazards. Jirachi, you don't get Taunt, right? I, I would know if you got Taunt. Um, Ferrothorn doesn't get Taunt. Yeah, I hate to do it, but we're going Mew. Like, it's definitely the way to go. And I'm going to run Flare Blitz because I want to weaken stuff like... Mainly Ferrothorn, just for Zara. Because if I don't want to hit Focus Blast, I can try to weaken it down. Red card. With Stealth Rocks. Spikes and Taunt. So try hard, don't have to use your brain lead right here. I'm not going to use Cloyster, by the way. I think Cloyster is so lame, and I'm never touching that mon again. So, uh, yeah. Like, if I'm going to complain about King's Rock Cloyster every time I lose to it, I can't really use it and justify myself complaining, right? Let's see what I can do from here. I definitely think... Yeah, I did mention Bisharp. Bisharp's vital. Like, there is no HO without Bisharp if you're trying to win. Black Glasses, like... Even under webs, it does have the speed tier to take advantage of them. So, yeah, I'll do what I have to. We'll go Swords Dance, Knock Off, Iron Head, and Sucker Punch, obviously. With 4 and Spadef, and 1 team slot left. Something that I notice is that I don't have a ground immunity, and I would love a Ghost type. So, Ghost types that are off the ground. I don't think Air Balloon Age Slash is very reliable. It's just gonna get iron headed by Drill anyway. Actually, why am I scared of a Drill? I have Mach Punch Conk plus Sucker Punch. Like, I can probably be Drill. Even my Zara has Focus Blast if I can reverse weather and whatnot. So, on second thought, let's just not worry about the ground immunity and just find a good ghost type to use. I feel like every time I build HO, I use a Gengar, so I kind of just run a Dragapult instead, like Dragon Dance. The other option's Mimic You, but. 
I mean, I like Mimikyu. I just think Mimikyu is better on like bulky offense or balance where you can wear down the opposing team over time in range of its win condition rather than just setting up over and over again. That's what I've seen. But yeah, we'll go Dragon Dance and Dragapult then. And I don't like to run Sucker Punch on mine. It could be good against Aegislash, but I have lots for Aegislash between Flare Blitz coverage, this thing, and then obviously plus one Thunderbolt hurts. We have an Earthquake on this, which basically does more than Knock Off because Knock Off, even with the item being knocked off, goes up to 97.5. Earthquake is 100. Yeah, and then we'll go Life Orb with Darts, Phantom Force, and yeah, Steel Wing is what you run if you don't run Sucker Punch. Because it's able to hit stuff like Clef for the Oko without having to go for like a two turn attack. And then yeah, we'll go Adam and Nature. Like I don't think I need the plus speed for anything here. I outspeed Weavile anyway, I believe, so it should be fine. And yeah, that is going to be the team. Pretty basic HO, but I did mention I'm probably going to try it pretty hard today. So let's go ahead and get a game. So I have a game right here. My opponent has a team that is actually quite weak to Combine Zara. The annoying Pokemon is his own Zara. I think it's probably Specs Pelipper and then Rock's Toad. Doesn't have another Rocker, so... I mean, it could be Swift Swim Rock's Toad too, but I think that's so much less likely just because of Dracovish. A Dragapult can win, but Shadow Sneak is annoying. It's gonna be hard, but I think we can do this. Yeah, let's go Ninetales against the Pelipper. So, we both know Freeze Dry is a thing I could do here. He would go Aegislash, right? Mm -hmm. I could just freeze dry, but if he does go Aegislash, I don't have the best switch in. We'll set up Hail, and then I think just sack this to get up Veil. It's not the worst idea ever. Like, I think it's fine. I'll get up Veil here. He might go hard into Pel- No, he wouldn't risk that. I think that there's no way you just go hard Pelipper again. Because, like, you couldn't even weather ball me because I would just set the hail back up. So, I'm assuming this is, what, a Flash Cannon? An Iron Head. So, it is physical. Meaning, that's really bad for Dragapult, but it might be okay for... Like, it might help out Conk, is the main thing. Conk could actually end game here. Maybe I should try to use that. It's just, Pelipper is annoying. It's called Flappy Bird. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna go Bisharp and just click... Just click knockoff. I think he might actually click. He actually dips. I want to play this one, dude. I'm going to click knockoff here. I think he might have close combat and just stay in. I kind of want SD on the Toad, but I don't think it's worth it to do that this early on. Because if I did it just SD and he stayed into close combat, I would lose, like, right there, so. And plus, getting damage on Toad is really good for Dragapult, and in, on the off chance it's not going to be in range of grass, not it definitely will after the knock, so. That's nice. Is he really not going to come back, though? Come on, dude. Play me. <laughs> 1800. I decayed. I was actually higher on the ladder yesterday. There we go. Yeah, I think I was like 1810. He goes hard Zara, interestingly. And it just dies. So what? Okay, I think I max rolled him or something. I don't I don't think that should die in one normally. He's gonna go maybe Hydreigon here. I could Iron Head into that and then try to go for an endgame with Zara. But I think Zara can just focus blast it if I need to. Like, because I was able to get rid of his Zara, my Zara can win, but I might need to hit a Focus Blast into this. Like, I'm debating just clicking Iron Head and then trying to put it in range of Thunderbolt, but I don't think that's good for me. Ah, uh, Veil's running out. I think I might actually click Iron Head. I have Earthquake on Conk for the Age Slash, and Conk can take on the Age Slash pretty easily here. As he's going to try to sub on me. Yeah, okay, so that's really good. That leads me to believe he might not actually have a fire move. He might just be sub Draco, Flash Cannon, Dark Pulse. Or sub Nasty Plot, two attacks. I don't think he has an attack to knock me out. What he should do is get in Pelipper one of these turns, or the Toad. I kind of want to knock off on the turn he would go Toad, but I can't let this sub for free, so let's Iron Head. Should I knock off here? Do you guys think he goes Toad? He's gonna DC again. I think he's just calking, maybe. Let's see. Knockoff doesn't break the sub, right? But at this point, he's really low. If he subs one more time, I think he is actually in range of plus one Thunderbolt. Let's actually check that here, because that's the more important thing. So Thunderbolt at plus one is doing... 31 to 36. After subbing, he would be around that range. 
And he said 38, okay. So he's just trying to waste my Veil, but I think I got a lot more out of this than he did. Like, the fact that my Zero Aura is going to have a lot of fun now is a lot better here. I'm just really worried about him potentially actually being Swift Swim on the Toad. That's the big problem here, but I don't think he is. I think he's definitely Water Absorb. It's probably just Specs Pelipper and then, like, Fizz Def Toad. That's what I would think from this team composition. I can technically win with Dragapult, but what I need is to set up on a Pokemon that's not going to put me in range of Sneak. This is where, like, Sucker Punch would be so much better, but I unfortunately don't have it. So does he sub again? If he's a Roost, that could actually be really annoying, but I don't think he's sub Roost. So he does come back. He's DC'd, like, four times. Maybe I wasn't tired yesterday. I actually don't remember where I ended off. He does sub again. So I think Knockoff does 19. Yeah, okay. Wait, what? How does that do so much? And then I'm able to catch the Toad. Okay, that's perfect. Wait, what was that damage? He is Leftovers, by the way. I just killed with another knockoff here. He might just straight up lose to Bisharp looking at this. Like, what? What happened here? Like, I want to win with Calm Mind Zara, but the way it's looking, this is just going to do it itself. Like, right here, I think the best place to go Mew. What just happened? Oh, I got Aegis last, which is unfortunate. Actually, uh, he doesn't have to be banded to knock out Nine Tails. That's the bad thing here. We're going to leave this... Actually, no, let's not click Rocks. Let's click Flare Blitz. And then I'll go Conk after. Yeah, that's okay. Actually, I could just go Bisharp and knock off. That's the better play. Because he basically has to sack Hydreigon and then go Pelipper, right? I think this might just be a Bisharp game. I don't think my Zeraora is going to do a ton. Where are you on the ladder, by the way? 18, 17. You're higher on the ladder than me. So what I need to do is get this Pelipper in range of Bisharp and then the game's over, I think. Because I should be able to Oko Hat. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Like, I'm going to keep this, obviously. He's going to go to Pelipper. I don't want to get swept by Trick Room Hatterene. That's what I'm kind of trying to think of here. I want to keep Dragapult at full. I'd actually think Conkelder isn't the greatest. So he's going to Weather Ball and Oko me. I guess that's okay. Yeah, and then we're going to get in Zara here. And just go right for Thunderbolt. Is he hard pivots in Hatterene? I'm going to Calm Mind on this and see what he's trying to do. If he's Calm Mind as well, that's not scary. Like, that's fine. He's Mystical Fire. Okay, that's okay. I'll spam Thunderbolt and then... Like, my Spidef Boost is going to make it sure that he doesn't recover too much from Draining Kiss. Although... Future Sight's not scary at all. Is this a Draining Kiss or not? I'm going to Calm Mind one more time here. It is a Draining Kiss, but you see, he does 14. Like, he doesn't do damage. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure Calm Mind Zara is going to have this one. Which I'm happy about. I didn't want to win it with Bisharp. I wanted to win it with this, so... That's really cool. Now, granted, I might not beat the Aegis last 1v1. Especially because of Future Sight. Yeah, it looks like I might have to sack this here. I'll go for Thunderbolt, and then we'll just wrap up the game with the other two, I guess. Like, can't have everything. We'll kill it, then we'll hit the Aegis Slash up with a Thunderbolt, and... Like, even if he starts to SD, there's no way he beats my Bisharp. Yeah, I literally just clicked Thunderbolt. I don't actually know if he is Swords Dance here. I always check the spectators to see if there's any names I recognize, and there never is. He goes for... Okay, that's Banded. <laughs> Yeah, no way that's not banded. I was going to say, what? So, yeah, we got Bisharp and Knock. I'm pretty sure Pelipper just straight up dies. Hmm. If it doesn't die, what am I going to do? Because I could Sucker Punch if he out- Actually, no, he can't switch back to Aegislash because it dies to knock off after. So he takes the KO, but then Pelipper has to lock an attack, and then I can pick it off with Sucker Punch plus a Dragapult here. 
This game took a long time, mostly just because he DC'd so much, but that's okay, I guess. He's gonna lock Hurricane. Because he needs to for Dragapult. He can't lock Weather Ball, he should go for Hurricane and try to crit me here, hoping that I don't Sucker Punch and then the Dragapult can't knock him out, but... Like, there's nothing he can do, obviously. Like, I'm just gonna Sucker Punch and then beat him with a drag. Yeah, I figured it would be Specs Pelibur and, like, Defensive Toad, just looking at his team. Although the Toad took a lot from knockoff. And then, um, yeah, let's go ahead and end it off with the Dragon Darts, I guess. And, uh, that's going to be that. I'll be right back. So I have another game right now. My opponent has a pretty bulgy offense-looking team. It's not balanced. He has a lot of offensive guys. I definitely think it could be set up Mew, so... Let's think about who I'm going to go for an endgame with. Zara or I can, but the fact that he has Diggersby and... Zara makes it so that I have to hit multiple focus blasts to try to go for that, and I don't like those odds. Yeah, we're going to lead off with Mew for sure, though. He might actually be a pretty offensive set as well. I'm just going to click Taunt immediately. I don't really know what he's trying to do, but like, if he is actually going to like U-turn here, that could be bad depending on what else he has. But anyway, I'm able to get the faster Taunt. I'm assuming he's timid as well, and I just won the tie, so that's pretty lucky. So we get Keldeo in. Kind of wish I had a psychic move on this over my current coverage. But yeah, I'll just throw up a spike as he's going to taunt with this. The taunt words are real right now. I really don't want Dragapult getting burned. And because I know he's not Scarf now, I can safely go nine tails, I think. And yeah, I'll just get a Veil. I don't really care what he does. Like if he subs, I'll go for Freeze Drive, but nobody runs sub taunt anyway. I'm assuming he's like taunt calm mind, if anything like that. Yeah, Taunt Combine would make sense. So I could try to set up here. Not the worst plan ever. Because if he's just going to start to spike up, what reason do I have not to click just a Dragon Dance, right? Like, he's going to taunt me there, but it might already be too late. Like, plus one is really strong. So we'll pick that off, and, like, I'm pretty sure Age Slash can't kill me. Doesn't he just lose now? Going into the Phantom Dimension makes his move miss, right? He might go hard Diggersby. Yeah, but I didn't want to call it. I'm pretty sure I live a hit anyway. Yeah, like I can take that. The thing is, I can't really click anything but Dragon Darts here, so... Had I called that right there, I probably would have just won, but... I didn't want to lose my Dragapult just over that. And I did a ton there anyway. Yeah, it sucks, but we'll give it to him. If I was Sucker Punch, that would probably be the game anyway. But, no, I was Life Orb, never mind. At least we got good damage on this, I'll take it, and then we can go... I want to say Bisharp is a good play, and just click knockoff, like, getting rid of Keldeo's leftovers is good. I really... maybe I should have expected the Diggers to be and just taken the game right there. I might regret that. Anyway, I'll take the KO, and then figure out what he wants to do. I think he should just go Keldeo, I'll definitely sack Mew. And if he goes for Secret Sword, then I'll actually be able to take his hit. So many spectators again. <laughs> so out comes Keldeo, yeah, I figured this would be the best option. We're gonna go Mew, as he does go for Secret Sword, so I can actually click Flare Blitz here for a bit of chip. Yeah, why not, right? I could have also saved it and gone Ninetales right there. That's not scary. Actually, it could be annoying. Um, Let's see. Okay, he attacks. So I think the best thing to do is get up Veil, and then go for a game with Zara. Like I said, I'm gonna have to focus blasts here whether I like it or not, but behind Veil, Conkelder can solo as well. That's another thing I'm noticing right here, so we can go for that. Goes for Secret Sword, okay. Yeah, we'll just dent it a bit if he wants to let me. The fact that I'm special Zara here is actually a lot worse. If I was physical, this would be, like, the easiest win. Like, bulk up would have just won. Interesting switch. I don't really get the whole idea. Just to Earth Power, okay. Yeah, so we're gonna get in Conk and just Drain Punch. 
I should take an Earth Power just fine behind Veil and get some health back here. Yeah, that's good enough. And then, I don't think you can beat this. Like, Diggers be I just mock Punch. Keldeo shouldn't be able to hurt me too badly, and then Zara should just die. Pretty sure Conk has this. gonna be the Keldeo. Yeah, I just clicked Grain Punch. Nothing to fear. He's gonna try to crit me there, but I do way too much to him. Can just mock Punch here, pick it off, and I should be good. We'll hit him with the mock Punch again, I guess. And then just Earthquake here to wrap it up, as we will be able to be to that down and yeah i'll be right back so i have another game right here we have hyper offense versus hyper offense but his is like way more standard than mine i definitely like zara but i'm gonna keep it at full here this one might just be who sets up first to like i'm gonna go for the early veil i think he could lead grim snarl and taunt though in fact i think that's definitely what he is gonna try to do I don't want Bisharp taking a hit. He could also just lead Teraki on too, which would be really frustrating. Okay, we'll go Ninetales as he does just lead Grimmsnarl. Okay, not the best, obviously. But at least by setting up Veil, I'm able to break Sash on Teraki on whenever that hits the field. As he doubles it right in, jeez. Okay. I think he will close combat. No, he just goes for Ox. Does this get taunt? Can't remember. It might. I feel like it probably does, but I don't think he has it. He would have clicked it already if it got taunt. Like, it's always the play. So what he should do is go hard to Grimmsnarl, right? That's the best thing to do. I mean, SD is not too bad for me. Like, I can, I can revenge this using multiple mons. Let me just check how much Dragon Darts does before I commit here. <laughs> Uh, Dragapult. Also, I'm gonna call it Steel Wing because I might be able to catch. So I do 74 to 89. He's gonna be at 76 after this. I wanna get up a spike, but I don't think I can afford to here. I mean, like, it's only bad if I get the 74 roll. Actually, it's 75. He's gonna literally be at 76. Yeah, I'm just gonna go off the fact that I kill, like, whatever. Oh, I died. I didn't even get up a spike, so there was nothing happening there, huh? Anyway, <laughs> let's try to hit, right? Like, what else can I do? I should have steel winged, whatever. Um. Okay, if he wants to do that, I'll go back to Bisharp, I think. Now we'll just steel wing again. I don't want him doubling to Terrakion. Yeah, as he tries to do that. So. We get him there. We actually weaken the Grim Snarl quite a lot too. Like, I couldn't go Bisharp there. Because giving him so much mileage out of that Terrakion would just, like, be an auto elf. So, like, what could I really do about that? So, yeah, Steel Wing's able to help me out. Like, I think I might have actually made the Bisharp play if it had Sucker Punch. Now, I would have made a different mid ground, whether it'd be, like, Zara or something. No, but I can't risk Zara here. I don't know. That was a weird situation. But because I had the coverage, it's okay. He might just go Cloister here and try to do the thing, but I don't think it's going to win. Like, I have Mach Punch. And honestly, Dragon Darts probably destroys it. Like, I know Cloister is bulky, but Life Orb Dragapult with Adam in nature is really strong. Does a lot. He knows more about my set now. Like, obviously, Dragon Dance. I don't know if he thinks I have Phantom Force or Sucker Punch. Like, that's a weird situation. Now I can go Bisharp, right? Then again, what is this really doing here? I just knock it out through Reflect. Yikes. That is really good for me. And then he goes Zeraora. I think this is a bulk up, right? But he opts to take the KO right away. Which I definitely get. Like, that's a good play. The question is... I think I have to go Conk and Earthquake, right? I wish I could somehow get up. Does Ninetales take a plus one Plasma Fists from Leftovers? Because I could try to Encore him. No, it doesn't. That's Magnet, though. Let's see. 
Like, I'm thinking about setting up Veil and then encoring him into Plasma Fist, but no, that does way too much, yeah. I think we're going to go... Maybe Nine Tails anyway, like... Yeah, we'll go Nine Tails instead of Veil. If he's Iron Tail, then he's good here, but... Like, I could Encore right now, but if he just Plasma Fists immediately, it's worse, so... I don't see the point. The fact that Conkeldur doesn't have coverage for Hellucha here is actually really bad. But I think Zeraora should be able to beat that thing down. Especially because I'm special and he doesn't have light screen up. I just realized how good that is for me. He's really high on the ladder, by the way. So if we can win here, that would be great. I got top 70 for winning the other game. So I'm like, what, 1840 or something? 1838? Yeah, I could have encored right there. I didn't want to. Of the chance he does it again, I will click encore this time. I guess Veil might actually help me out here. I should be able to encore him pretty easily. Yeah, there we go. And then I think I just go hard conk and spam earthquake, right? Because I'll get flame orb on the switch in, and that's plenty. And then once he goes Halucha, I'm just going to hard switch in my Zera and try to beat that. And then I should be able to wrap it up using Conk. How many turns is he Encored for? This turn and the next one, right? But then he can attack. No, but all I have to do is Encore him in the turn he would break out. No, I can't do that actually. Yeah, that's not something I can afford. Hmm. This is a bit annoying. It's gonna get up really f strong. He was awkward longer than I thought, by the way. Oh, he has a drain punch, huh? <laughs> that might just be it. That's bad. So I have two plays. I can try to hit Focus Blast or I can go Conk. I still have Veil up. We don't kill. I need to hit another one and win this tie. Nah, GG. We're gonna go ahead and run right there. I'll be right back. Though I have another game right here. We do take an L, which is a bit unfortunate, but that's all right. I definitely should have gone hard conk, so that's my bad, but let's try to make up for it right here. He does have a Draco Vish, which if it's Choice Scarf, we... I'm pretty sure most of us know the role off the top of my head, because every time I use HO, I run into this situation. Draco Vish does 87 to 104, I think. 87 to 103, yeah. So what I need to do is hope that he doesn't get that role and I can get my hazards. Oh, he let off with the drill. Okay, that's better. Let's actually blitz. Oh, is this Scarf, dude? Don't be Scarf. He's not Scarf. He's Scarf Dracovish. This is like Nasty Plot or something. Yeah. It's Nasty Plot Life Orb. So, the best thing to do... I never want to let him spin. How healthy do I have? Oh, that thing's low. I could actually go nine tails and just freeze it right if it comes in. Yeah, that's definitely the thing to do. So we'll go nine tails here. Click Aurora Veil. He might have flash cannon. I honestly don't care if he clicks it. Like, that's okay. And then we'll hit him up with the freeze dry here. Because he does have to switch out. Which I find odd. I don't think I die. And even if I do, it's fine. Oh, as he doesn't even go for the <laughs> next correct attack. That's kind of funny. Um, this has Infiltrator. <laughs> Dude, are we serious? I could have just sucker punched it. I didn't think he would actually do that. Like, that's so lame now. Like, I should have just sucker punched. Dude, what was I thinking? Actually, what was I thinking right there? That's kind of bad. <laughs> I didn't think he would just Fire Blast, though. Like, 
Are we serious? That was what you were committing to. Okay. He specs clearly. That hurts so much. Yeah, I think I just lost because I'd made that play. No, it's not over. Zara can do it. And Dragapult, honestly. Like, both of them have potential. Well, we know he specs. Do I take the hit with this, or do I keep it out of range of sneak? I feel like I keep it out of range of sneak, for sure. Dude, I actually can't believe he just stayed in and did that. Like, I tried to make a play, and he just doesn't even think. Alright, well, whatever. It's my bad, right? <laughs> what can I really say about it? I messed up, not him. I can take that hit well. I can Thunderbolt here and kill it. That should be in range of grass. No, I don't think this wins, though. Like, they shouldn't be able to solo him because of how healthy everything is. Grass not does 19, right? I mean, if I have to focus Blast, I will. This is not over. I can win this. Okay, good. Oh. Okay. Goodbye. I crit you. <laughs> so you transformed into me and then calm minded. Interesting maneuver, dude. Dracovish can't kill me because. Okay, this can probably kill me with Shadow Clop. Let's sneak. Oh, but he has deed. Dude, he's so bad. He's literally throwing as we speak. I'm pretty sure I just win. Like, unless I dot miss Focus Blast or should I just Thunderbolt? I'm just gonna Focus Blast, dude. Whatever. I missed it, but no, he has it now, right? No, that's not true. I have to D-dance and live. Did he crit me? I think he crit me through the veil. Oh, he just Draco would have knocked me out in one. If I hit the Focus Blast, I think I actually make a comeback, but I'll be right back. So I have another game right here. Obviously the miss sucked, but I really didn't think he would just click Fire Blast in front of Sucker Punch Bisharp. Like, I get that it was obvious and that maybe I wouldn't do it, but that's Infiltrator Dragapult against Aurora Veil. Like, I didn't think that was worth the risk and he just decided not to care about it. So, yeah, that's my bad there. Let's see if we can bounce back this time. That's two L's in a row now. How far down does that put me? That hasn't updated. Okay. Man. Okay, we'll go with Alolan Ninetales. Actually, Mew is probably the better option. Mew doesn't die to any Gengar hit, unless it's Specs. Actually, I feel like it lives Specs. It doesn't live Specs. I feel like it could be Sash. Let's leave it in. As he is going to be probably Sash or something. I'll go for Taunt here. He might just U-turn. I could care less. I just want to have my rocks up. He tries to taunt on my taunt. <laughs> and hard switches this back in. It was a black sludge. Okay, that's good information. This guy loses to Dragapult, by the way. I don't know if I've mentioned that, but... Yeah, he just doesn't beat that mon. I could go to it here and just throw off darts. Because I don't think he would switch this out on that. Oh, you know what else just wins? Zara. Zara is really good. Yeah, he goes Corviknight, okay. Well, that's fine. I'll click Dragon Dance. I mean, if hazards are gonna go, they're gonna go, right? What can I really do about it? Okay. And he decided to make a wild play into Rotom, predicting something. Probably Zara? Like, I don't get it. <laughs> but that's destroyed. Sucker Punch on Cinderace, maybe? It's gonna be the Corviknight. How much did I do with darts earlier? 30. Let's go into the shadows, and then this might just kill it. I wanna say it probably does. Never mind, okay. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, let's not. How much did I do? I'm not gonna kill him here. Actually, I could with good rolls. We saw the rolls earlier 15, 14. Okay. Yeah, let's get out. If he's body press, I would have walled him, but the thing is I can't really break him. I hate to use this, but I will. OK, 
Okay, that's fine. I'll calm mind if you want me to. You're the one asking for it. Please don't miss again, Zara. Like, come on. I think this is probably the scarf. Okay. That's crazy. I actually broke through flinch and hit a focus blast. I was really expecting one of those to not happen. So out comes you. Begin Thunderbolt. Actually, let's think about that. Um, what does this thing do for me? No, I should be able to wrap it up using Veil plus Conk, so I don't think I have much to worry about. Let's just Thunderbolt. I don't know. Like, I could switch out. I don't think I want to. It takes 79 and opts to Court Change. Court Change definitely wasn't the play. You just lost. This guy can't be very high on the ladder. He's not very good. 1723. Goes Conk. We will hit this up too. Takes a million percent. And then, yeah, there's so many options I can wrap it up with right here. Corviknight's at 67. We're going to go... We're going to go Nine Tails, get up the Veil, and then wrap it up with Conk, like I mentioned. Goes for Drain Punch. Actually, hmm. Let's lock you into that if you, if you don't mock Punch here. Which you obviously should. What's the best way to do this? Sucker Punch, Gengar, Corviknight. I just don't want to lose the Focus Blast on that thing. We'll do this. We'll go right for the... Dragon Dart. Does he hard, does hard switch it out? I didn't actually think he would, but... He opted to. That's okay, though. This... Doesn't come back in. So now darts here. Make sure that I die to hazards and all that. Hmm, maybe I did lose. Nah, dude, I didn't lose. I think I'm fine. He should click Roost again, but I think, despite the Veil being gone, he shouldn't be able- Oh, I just cleared him, wow. But I think Bulk Up Con could have done that, right? Like, behind Veil I got a free Bulk Up, basically. He never actually showed his attack. I think it was Body Press because he never hit my Dragapult, and Con can beat Body Press pretty easily. That's the thing there. Like, Conk doesn't struggle against Body Press at all. So I think I'm just faster than him, naturally. And then, I guess, if he has Focus Blast, it could be annoying. I don't think he's Focus Blast, though. I think he's a sub-nasty plot or something like that. I don't want to lose another game because I didn't go for Sucker Punch. As he tries to nasty plot on me. Okay, so we get him there and I'll be right back. So I have another game right here. This will be the last one. My opponent is higher than me on the ladder and he's using this. Which, I can see how people lose to this. Like if your team doesn't have Slurp Buff or Poltegeist matchup. It's really difficult. But I think I can beat both. Like, maybe Slurp Buff could be difficult to deal with. But Hazard stacking early is going to be helpful. Is he up to lead off with the Meow Stick? Yeah, so we're just gonna get up turn one rocks. I don't think this gets Taunt, right? Gets Prankster Yawn. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna go Bisharp here. I don't think this is actually gonna have an attack on it. Yeah, as it gets up that, you can't do much to me besides- You can't even Prankster Yawn me. So I knock off a Life Orb. That leads me to believe this is like D or something. How do I deal with that? I think the best thing to do is get in Conk here, and then just... Oh yeah, just attacked immediately. Okay, that's interesting decision. Okay, cool. I mean, that was a big threat to me, so if it's not going to set up, I'm happy with that exchange. Oh, you know what he just loses to? He, uh, can't I just go Dragapult and win the game? Like, right now? 
I just realized I destroy him with Infiltrator Dragapult. Like, it's not even funny how good of a matchup that is. Yeah, we'll, we'll go to it right here and just Dragon Darts. Like, I don't have much to lose. He actually gets 6 0 by this. Like, what? Okay, well, I don't want to take a Prankster T-Wave or anything, so let's get out of here. Like, Dragapult's the most important Pokemon. I didn't even realize it until now. So he goes for Yawn. That's fine. And then, yeah, we'll just Iron Head. See, Hard Pivots in Kamo. Oh, that's okay. I don't know if it has a Drain Punch on top of its other moves, but I think at this point I'm willing to stay in. So it goes for Earthquake. Like, I just didn't want to let it set up. Because if it DDs, it could actually be annoying. Because I knocked off the Life Orb, so it's not taking damage every turn. And I've also tried to have in Pokemon that just don't allow the Slurp Buff to beat me down. So he opts to take the KO. Good play. You know, I think it's about time we hit him up with this. And just go right for Grass Node here. Kill that thing. I kind of reveal my secret there, but it's okay. Uh, Poltergeist could be annoying, depending on what set it is. No, but Poltergeist shouldn't be able to beat me, because what I'm going to do is Calm Mind on the Shell Smash and beat it down. What are you doing to me? Earthquake? I think I'm going to try to get a Veil in front of you. Okay, well, that's interesting. I think if I get a Veil, I can still beat the Poltergeist. It's just Slurpuff is the annoying one. So what do I want to do about this? Get up Veil? I don't know if Veil's going to save me. But it's probably my only hope here, right? Yeah, he's going to Belly Drum, obviously. Like, why wouldn't he? Then, I think I just lose. Depends on what move he decides to lock. Okay, living there was actually helpful. I need Mew to live. That's the big one. Because then I can taunt whatever comes in after. But Mew should live. Oh, I did have Drain Punch. Okay. So we're going to go Mew here. Flare Blitz should pick it off. And then I can taunt the Poltegeist and win the game, right? He needs to crit player off. I think that's what his win con is here and he misses. But I shouldn't die to that and, veil, and Hail in combination. Because of Veil up. So now I can taunt the Poltegeist and win. Yeah, I don't think there's any, but like, I'll put it in the calc. I'm max HP Mew. I don't think it, it dies at all. Slurp puff. Yeah, there's no way. Like, even at plus six, it probably doesn't even Oko me normally. Never mind. But as you can see behind Aurora Veil, 57 to 67, it, does, it doesn't do damage. Hmm. He's going to try to yawn here. Yeah, but that's not going to matter. I just taunted, then beat it down with Dragapult. Yeah, taunt it. Make sure it doesn't Shell Smash. I guess hit it up with Flare Blitz a few times, because I can. Shouldn't make a difference. I actually got rid of its white herb, which is funny. So what's the best thing to do? Do I switch out here? No, I just continue Flare Blitzing. As I burn it there, but... Like, now if you click Shell Smash, he just straight up dies to Flare Blitz. So I don't think that burn or any of this the stuff there mattered. And obviously Zara can pick it off at this point. So he does try to Shell Smash, but like... I'm pretty sure even without that extra defense drop, I would have been fine. And actually, wasn't the extra defense drop for um, weak armor? Yeah, that wasn't hex. The defense drop wasn't like a secondary effect I got. So I think as long as I taunted, despite the f speed boosts right there, I would still be able to win. So that'll be that. And yeah, we're able to go 4-2. and two. I really regret that G Bisharp game against the Dragapult. But it's all right, I guess. I did misplay, but it's good. Let's actually check where we ended off. Because I was at 1800, I think, when we started. 1830, not bad. Okay. So uh, that's pretty good. I did hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you next time.